Hello and welcome to another video. It's Simon Hurley from Inclips. Today I'm excited to be joining Newton's Nook along their September release blog hop, and today they are releasing the stamp set called Newton Loves Coffee. This is one of my favorites with all those little images of Newton peeking out with the coffee mugs, and all the little coffee accessories and mugs as well, and the little details they've added to this set. Those sentiments also match perfectly with those images, and I know all of you coffee lovers will love this stamp set. So I'm starting out with a piece of 110 pound white cardstock so that we can do some Copic coloring today, and I'm going to be stamping that little image of Newton holding that coffee mug there. And I'm stamping this in Memento Textito black ink so that we can do some Copic coloring later without it bleeding. I'm stamping this on the left side of my panel of cardstock here, and I'm going to put Newton at a little tilt too to add some detail in there. I'm also going to be stamping the sentiment on the right side that says a birthday brew just for you, which I think is an awesome sentiment. Okay, so then I'm going to be stamping the little coffee mugs around Newton, creating a little background. I'm going to be taking all three mugs that they've included in today's set and just stamping them around Newton. Placement is key when you're doing this. You want to kind of start from the inside and work your way out, or you also want to pair them in groups to make sure that you have them at least close together. There will be some gaps once you're done, and you won't be able to fill out the whole piece of cardstock with these, so I'll show you how to fix that in just a minute. I love all the little details they've added to these mugs um, with those little paw prints and kind of stripes. I think that gives them a lot of detail and really adds some character to the little mugs. So like I had mentioned, we're going to be filling in those little spaces. They've actually included three solid images in today's set, and I'm starting out with the first one and stamping it with Malibu, kind of filling in some of those spaces, but still leaving room for more solid images that are going to go inside of there. And next, going in with some khaki ink and using another little mug that is a solid image, and we're going to kind of fill some space in as well. I had quite a few gaps here, so these little images really helped me out, and um, I really wanted to go with kind of a tan, gray, and blue color palette today, so those are the colors that I stick with stamping these in. I'm finally going to go in with some Sparrow ink, and I'm going to be stamping the little coffee uh, beans all around uh, the images here. And I'm just going to try to fill in as much space as I can, because that's the last image I'm going to be stamping here. So wherever there is any room, I'm just going to stamp those little coffee beans. Okay guys, so now we're going to move on to coloring our images with some Copic markers here. This is a really simple way to color, and I love that these Newton's Nook Designs images have really open spaces. So if you're pretty much a beginner like me with coloring with Copics, it's really easy to color these in and kind of practice your coloring skills. I've sped this up quite a bit because you guys probably do not want to see me color all of these in uh, real time. It will take quite a bit. Um, this image actually, uh, this background actually only took me about 15 minutes to color. Um, I was going pretty fast with it. Um, so I think that was really awesome and it was a quick card for me to get done. So I'm just adding shadows, kind of drop shadows here and there. There's really no light source in this image that I found, um, so I just kind of added some drop shadows. Uh, for example, where an image would meet another image, I just added a little shadow there, um, and that's usually what I do with my Copic coloring. I stuck with a really um, simple color palette here with some blues, tans, and grays. I really wanted to keep the design very cohesive in this whole card, so most of the mugs had kind of the same colors going in with one another, so I wanted to keep all the colors pretty similar, so two mugs might have different grays and different areas on them, just to kind of make the design a little bit more cohesive and make all the colors flow as well. Okay, so as I color these coffee mugs, I'm just going to turn on some music. I added some shadows to the right side to all the mugs, and I'm just going to quickly color them in, and I'll be back once I'm finished to finish off the card.
Okay, so now that we've finished our brick coloring, this is what our panel looks like. After I finished that, I didn't really have a piece of color of cardstock that would really match our project. So um, I just wanted to create a piece of cardstock out of a white piece. So I cut down a white piece of cardstock and I'm going to be taking a Copic marker and running it along the edges of my piece of cardstock here. This will create a um, piece of cardstock that will perfectly match and I can then map my colored panel onto here. So this is just a dark brown Copic color that I used for Newton um, to kind of shade him in and I thought it looked kind of like a coffee color. So then I'm also going to color the edges because um, those will show if they are still white. So you want to make sure that they are nice and dark because otherwise it will uh, look like a piece of white cardstock. Okay, so now I'm going to put that all together onto my card and this is how my finished card looks. I'm actually just going to add a couple little white dots onto my coffee mugs here. And I think it just adds a little bit more extra detail and dimension to a kind of pretty much really flat card here with not much dimension. So I'm just adding a couple of dots to the mugs and also to Newton's cup and some of the other coffee cups. I'm going to be adding some stitching detail on that little teal banner there. And I'm also just going to add a little bit of extra white detail to some of those other mugs um, to really make them pop. Okay, guys, I, I encourage you to go hop along all the other designers' blogs and see what they have done with this stamp set and leave them some fantastic comments, and you could be randomly entered for a giveaway to win this stamp set. This will go live on September 25th if you would like to purchase it at newtonsnookdesigns.com. All the supplies that I've used in today's video will be listed and linked down below in the description. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you would like to see more like this. You can also hop over to my blog to see some more inspiration on this card. Thanks for watching. Bye!